So, this week's video is all about the captain of the industry. Um, he's been quite demanding, if I'm honest. He's been up two or three times, probably two more times than any normal person would come up to spec their car. And this is Mr. Daniel Luisi's car, Asheville Aggregates, before we've started the build. So before I go into the spec, I'm gonna give you a little reminder now of exactly what Daniel was like when he first came in. I want to take that, and I want that on there, and I want the back of that G-Wagon, and I want that on there, and then, yeah, then we can piece And then the like uh, uh, electric motor out of the, the Porsche <laughs> Taycan into your Defender. Right, so Daniel's spec. Um, so first things first, obviously, we've ju it's just come through paint, so we've finished this part already. So we've got full colour coding on the lower areas and black pack. This one will have our wide arches on here as well. One thing that's going to be unique to Daniel is the first person to get a, a new vented bonnet. So we've, well, we've got the vented bonnets coming through. Daniel's one's in paint. It's a little bit like the SVR. Uh, it's got two scoops in there. It gives you a much more aggressive feel to the front. Uh, one thing that Daniel has select requested um, is to have Asheville on the bonnet rather than Urban because uh, he wants to use it as a branded vehicle for his business uh, which you obviously can do with all of your commercials is, is a thing to have it sign written or, or branded how you want. I'm not sure whether I'm a bit worried about that whether you know we're going to start seeing Asheville defenders on the road which just blows my mind that that might happen and the king of the aggregates industry might put the king of the car modification industry out of business. I don't know whether I can title myself that yet, but for the purposes of this video, I will. It's gonna have the high power roof light bar, um, like normal quad lasers in the top. Uh, side steps, black shadow side steps. Uh, Daniel's opted for the 22 inch WX wheels. Now he's gonna do it with a, like a Cooper all-terrain tire. Um, so it's got a real rugged uh, tread on there for getting across all of the muck and everything in the aggregates yards. I think that's what he does. Um, probably just drives around like giving orders to people and stuff like that what else we've got a rear spoiler um, and this one's actually gonna have um, so when he goes on into the yard he's gonna have some amber flashing traffic um, sort of like warning warning lights uh, for the purpose of this we'll call them Louisi lights uh, he's gonna flick a switch orange lights flashing you know making an entrance to the to the yard uh, and then Last but not least, on the rear, we're gonna get a rear spoiler, a branded rear spoiler, and then a rear wheel cover, again, with a bit of a twist, because it's gonna have Asheville across the middle rather than the normal urban decal. And yeah, that finishes it off. Uh, apart from some calipers, uh, obviously the Asheville branding is yellow, so he wants yellow calipers just to finish it off, so that's a nice touch through the wheels. So now I'll drive it into the workshop and we'll get starting over the next week and we should be seeing Daniel next Friday when it's all complete. Right guys, so we're making good tracks on Daniel's build. So what's been done so far, we have got the amber warning lights for Daniel when he makes an entrance to site. Uh, this is all being wired in now. It's quite, a, believe it or not, just the four lights on the car, it's quite a complex um, install in that all of the cables need to go all the way underneath the car because all four lights have to link up together because um, they've got like a sequence on so you can do different, uh, you know, various sequences of amber lights. Um, vented bonnet's gone on, you can't see that yet, but you can see the holes in the bonnet just there um, is where the vents go in. What else has been done? Right, we have uh, wide arches are on, uh, the, on the, well, on the front anyway, uh, that's been done. All of the handles are color coded now. Mud flaps are on. Now, down here, calipers are removed because um, we're obviously going yellow on these calipers for Daniel because of the, the Asheville branding. With every caliper job, we never, ever, ever paint a caliper on a car. It's always done off the car, in the body shop, uh, not with a rattle can. It's always done with high temperature paint. So we get the maximum longevity out of obviously having painted calipers. So at the back, we have 
Asheville letters. Um, so rather than having a normal urban um, crested wheel cover, we've got a slotted out wheel cover here and the words Asheville will go in there, which is exactly what Daniel wanted. Um, if we look on the bench, actually we're making really good tracks with the car actually. We've got the smoke rear lights in as well. Um, I think we're actually going ahead of schedule. We've got the rear spoiler. So what happens when we, um, we bond on the rear spoiler, we have to scratch up the inner surface. So uh, when we put the, the window screen sealant on, which is the, you know, like the high adhesion glue, when we put the spoiler on, that will stick and it will make sure it stays on the car permanently forever. Right, so day three of Daniel's build. Uh, we're making really good progress, actually. Car's nearly done. Uh, we've got some extras in there that we're doing for Daniel as a little bit of a surprise. I'm gonna run you through those now. Right, so the yellow towing hooks are on the car. Obviously, that's in yellow branding to go with Asheville. We've got the same on the calipers as well. Calipers came off, calipers have gone back on. Everything's clean and crisp. That yellow looks absolutely perfect on the car. Inside, we're just finishing the wiring. All of the dash has just gone back in. We've got a few parts remaining, but what we do when we install the roof light, we drill two nice little holes. We put two rubber grommets at the top part of the roof bar so it can't leak. So all of the water that runs forward runs off the car. So the vented bonnet is finished as well. That's on there all painted. The vents are in. You can see that that looks fantastic. This is the first one we've ever done for Daniel specially. We've got the front warning lights. They're all bolted on now. Um, obviously once the, the grill goes on, these will sit nicely inside there. So that's finished as well, which looks fantastic. We've got a couple of things in the back of the car. Daniel asked me to put in some sort of hooks and storage systems. So we've got a hard hat hook. Uh, we've got some hooks to go in the sides as well. I'll show you that now. Right, so in the back of the car, we've got a couple of options. Um, I ordered quite a bit just to check what we could do in the back of the car. So we've got some nice handy little billet aluminium hooks, which we're gonna put on the car so Daniel can hang up his, um, his high-vis vest and his jacket. So we're gonna put these up in the car just to uh, nice and neat. So, and when they fold away, they'll obviously be nice and neat so you can't see them, nice little neat solution. We've also got um, a hard hat hook, uh, which we're gonna put in the back of the cab there. So when he's finished with his hard hat, it doesn't roll around in the back of the car can just go up on the hook, which is perfect. We've also got some cargo nets as well. We just got to work out where these are going to go, but I think it's going to be somewhere in the side so he can keep things out of the way of the, the main area, which was his biggest problem in his last car. So as I said before, we've got the Asheville letters, which will go on right at the end. Uh, these are going to be in black. Obviously yellow would be a bit much of an Asheville statement, which although Daniel wants the car branded, he doesn't want it to sort of scream, you know, yellow everywhere. I'm not sure whether it's a mistake. Like, if this is what happens to a car, yeah. it's like I'm committing that car in there to death. Well, no, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say, no, no you're, you're, you're committing it to, to the life that it was meant for. It's meant to drive through the mud. It's meant to go off-road. It's meant to pull diggers. It's well, the one, that, to be fair, the one that you've got in there is. This one probably wasn't. Like this. <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah, like that. Oh my, oh, god. my god. oh my god! Oh my god! Were you wearing that when you were fishing? Yeah, man, I got to look the part, don't I? <laughs> what is this guy doing? It's like oh, he's got just loads of hats. He played baseball as well. <laughs> uh, on a on a level though, he has got the number plate in the middle of the boot. <laughs> All I'm saying, oh, Jesus! It is. <laughs> these are gym shoes. These are, you need these shoes when you're training, when Mate, you're squatting. Lace up the box. How big are they? You could just put lace in the box. I'm, I'm a, I'm a 14. Man. You know what they say about big shoes, don't you? Big socks, my yeah. friend. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my oh God! My what God. is he doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stay Stay out out of my boot. <laughs> Just stay out of my boot. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just try a different hat. <laughs> this is the best video ever. Just when, like, I, I, I intended on this going different. You know when you foresee something in your head, I foresaw this going differently. Should we go inside and have a look at your car? Yeah. 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 
This is your car. Look. All right, this is mine. This is mine, yeah? I, I've never had a reveal like this before. This you is never had a reveal? Before. Not like this before. No. Yeah, and when, Jan, when Jan wrapped my Wraith, I walked out and was there, but I've never had like a, one of these over the top of it. All right, this is a, this is, this is a big thing for me, so. You excited? I, I did actually say to you, like, you, you've enjoyed this process, haven't you? I, have really I don't know what you've enjoyed most, buying the car or, or hounding me. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> I, believe I, I believe I enjoyed both. I mean, I've never had a cover over my car. I mean, I've seen my car on the back of a lorry getting towed away for parking illegally, but I've never seen it like this covered. When someone covers their car, you know that it's a good car. You know people cover their car in their drive. Protection here in case I put the foot yeah. on and or I try to get something yeah. heavy in the back. Yeah. I'm I'm loving it. Good. And now Simon is gonna put the first urban kit on my Wraith. He's already agreed to that on camera. Can't get out of it now. Put him on the it was like peer pressure in front of everyone. Yeah, but pretty much so, yeah. Bully. You heard it here first. Me a bully. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> <My> a bully. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he looked at me round the oh, Straight round, the camera all the time and round. <laughs> Are you going to clean this? Try and clean this at least once a week. No, I'm not I'm good. If you can clean it once a week, you can keep on top of it. But the thing about when this... He, when he said it, you can clean it once a week, I was like... <laughs> I've been promoted. I've been promoted to clean that, yes. No, the inside of this is different. This has insides which you can wipe down. My car has carpet and stuff like this. All the panels yeah, in this can be wiped wash, down. You can jet, and you can pretty much wash jet wash yeah. the inside of this. Yeah. And now that I have a free... People will say, oh yeah, let's go in Daniel's car. He can fit five people. No, I can fit three people in my car now, so I am not the designated driver wherever we go anymore. I can fit three people in here, and I can fit three people in my other car, because you can't sit behind me in my other car. So, can I ask you to do something when you get in the car? Yes. Can you use your side step to get in the car? My side's going to be like a metre higher than the car. <laughs> well, at least you know that they're strong side steps. <laughs> There you have it, Daniel Luisi's handover. You've got loads of footage on our video about the build. You've got footage on his about the handover. Yes, the handover, the handover, my experience and my thinking behind choosing a Land Rover Defender and choosing Urban. Really happy with my car. Thank you so much, Simon. Pleasure. It took two years of conversation and going back and forth and no Daniel that's a stupid idea and no I'm not doing that and why would anybody do anything like that and I've designed it like this for a purpose to actually get here yeah. and I'm very thankful because <laughs> it looks great I'm really happy with it